Welcome to the open elective course on entrepreneurship in plant based drugs. This is part 20. In this part, let us understand Ashoka Ruksha or Saraka Ashoka. Welcome back and uh, welcome to a new video on Ashoka tree or Ashoka Ruksha. Its botanical name is Saraka Ashoka and we have an Ashoka plant growing luxuriantly at St. Joseph's University PT Center. This is Saraka Ashoka or Ashoka Vriksha which is there behind me at St. Joseph's PG Center, Bangalore. Saraka Ashoka is a very rare and endangered plant. According to IUCN Red List, it is considered as vulnerable plant. It grows only in some deep forests of tropical region. But fortunately, we have a Saraka Ashoka plant growing inside St. Joseph's University campus. Ashoka tree is highly medicinal. The juice obtained from boiling the bark is used in the treatment of many women's specific ailments. The pulp of the flowers is one of the remedies for dysentery. The seed, the bark and the flowers of Ashoka are astringent and hence they are used in the treatment of menorrhagia, diabetes and biliousness. It can also be used in the treatment of dyspensia, ulcers. It has got a properties like estrogenic properties and because of that it is also used as a uterine stimulant. So hence uh, Ashoka is highly medicinal and highly endangered and a very very rare tree. Saraka Ashoka belongs to the subfamily Detoiroideaceae of the family Fabaceae. It is mythologically very very important for all Indians. It is worshipped by many Indians. Uh, it is sometimes incorrectly known as Saraka Indica. The flower of Ashoka tree is the state flower of the Indian state Odisha. Saraka Ashoka is commonly called Ashoka Ruksha in India. The emblem of modern Republic of India is an adaptation of the lion capital of Ashoka the Great. His Sanskrit name Ashoka means painless or without any sorrow. Ashoka means no pain, refers to the bark's reputed homeopathic properties for keeping women healthy. According to Ramayana, Ravana kidnapped Sita Mata and kept her in Ashoka Vatika, a garden full of Ashoka trees so that she doesn't get into depression. So this clearly indicates that Ashoka Ruksha is known historically, mythologically and also in Ayurveda for uh, uh, treating many women related ailments. Ashoka tree is native to Indian subcontinent and it is found growing in natural conditions in the western Ghats and in the Himalayan regions, especially in the eastern Himalayan regions. It is a small sized tree uh, growing up to 7 to 10 meters. It is a handsome evergreen tree with the branches spreading in all directions forming a crown shape. The tree has compound leaves with three to seven pairs of leaflets. The young leaflets come out in uh, drooping branches, changing colors from the grayish white to pinkish and remain folded. And this uh, tender foliage of coppery red colors offers a very heartwarming sight. The flowering season is in summer. The vibrant orange slightly fragrant flowers are born in uh, roundish inflorescences on the branches and stems. Initially reddish yellow blooms later turning into vermilion color clusters of flowers contrast pleasingly with dark green shiny wavy edged foliage. The tree flowers between January and April or till June. The flowers are attractive and they attract many birds and butterflies. Gautama Buddha was born in 563 BC. 
it seems his birth took place under ashoka tree this was confirmed by the great chinese traveler huen song who came to india between 630 to 645 ad hence ashoka tree is a sacred tree for buddhists also and it is seen near many buddhist monasteries thank you very much for watching my videos please like share and subscribe we'll meet again in the next video with some other topic thank you very much